We introduce face folds, a novel efficient representation for rendering dynamic face sequences in game engines. Our technique begins with learning a volumetric representation for the dynamic face sequence using a set of static 2D radiance manifolds in the 3D space. We visualize a cross section of the manifolds here. The radiance values are mapped from the 3D XYZ space to UV space through spherical mapping and decomposed into view dependent and independent components. We then export the manifolds as a layered mesh and the view independent radiance as a per layer RGB and alpha texture and encode it into a video. Our exported layered mesh and video texture can be trivially rendered very efficiently in any legacy renderer using simple alpha blending. We show view synthesis results on a subject from the multi-face dataset. Our method achieves high quality free view renders of the subject's facial performance. We also visualize the radiance in the UV space, decomposed into the view dependent and independent components. We also show the RGB and alpha textures for each of the 12 layers for a static frame, along with the expected depth value of the scene from our volumetric representation. We show more view synthesis results on subjects from the multi face dataset. Note that our method is able to accurately model and synthesize semi-transparent regions such as hair and scalp, and also model strong topological changes such as a wide open mouth. Here, we show an interactive demo of our method running in real time in the Unity game engine on a laptop. Our method is able to render interactive views at maximum screen frame rate of 60 FPS even at the highest render resolution of 1440p. We show the interactive demo for more sequences. We now show a comparison of our method against state-of-the-art neural rendering techniques for volumetric capture of dynamic faces. We show a view synthesis result against two techniques, nerfies and hypernerf. While our method successfully models the hair, it misses a couple of loose hair strands, but achieves equally sharp results on the face. We show a comparison on another sequence. While our method captures the hair at a slightly lower quality, the facial expressions are equally sharp and devoid of any view-dependent floaters and artifacts. Note that our method is four orders of magnitude faster and more memory efficient. We now show comparisons against state-of-the-art photorealistic avatar animation techniques. We compare against MVP and mono avatar, both techniques that rely on parametric face models for learning appearance features and tracking the face geometry. While MVP achieves the sharpest results, our method still compares favorably at a fraction of memory and compute resources. We show a comparison on another sequence. Note that MVP struggles with accurately synthesizing the hair strands that are further away from the head geometry, since it relies on a parametric head model, our method produces consistent hair and comparable image quality without floating and view-dependent artifacts. Note that our method is not only much more efficient, but also runs natively in commodity graphics softwares like game engines. We now provide more analysis of our method by ablating various design choices. Here, we show an analysis of our method trained with varying number of discrete manifolds, hence number of layers in the exported mesh. Note that using a single manifold is equivalent to expressing the dynamic face geometry with a single mesh. 
We note that a single manifold is incapable of modeling any volumetric effects in the hair. Four manifolds begin to model some volumetric effects, and we see the best results with 12. We do not notice significant improvements for more than 12 manifolds, so we restrict our method to that number of layers. We now show an analysis by decimating our layered mesh to lower resolutions. We note that we achieve good quality results with as low as 64 times 64 vertices per layer without noticeable drop in quality. Since our mesh is fairly smooth and does not need to be dense to reconstruct the minute details, it allows our method to be significantly more memory efficient. Now we show a comparison by subsampling exported textures to lower resolutions. While using an HD resolution texture per layer is crucial to achieving high quality detail, we note that quality decays gracefully with lowering resolution. Our method produces view consistent renderings. At more extreme viewing angles beyond the distribution of the training cameras, we may begin to see shelling artifacts due to the underlying layered mesh. Our technique allows us to increase the frame rate of our renders arbitrarily by interpolating the frame conditioning while exporting the texture. Here, we synthesize a render at three times the original frame rate, leading to much smoother and perceptually pleasing results. This is face folds, an efficient representation to achieve photorealistic volumetric rendering of dynamic human faces in traditional graphics pipelines. Thank you.